Yeah, that's my fault. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Technical difficulties. We back. We back. We back. We back. <laughs> what up, though? We ain't doing no brushing today. No brushing. Well, not right now. Not right now, at least. So, if y'all looked at the, uh, yeah, and it fell. <laughs> Embarrassing.com. Yeah, what up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Um, if you look at the thumbnail, I'm hooking y'all up with the Dream Team code. That's for the Dream Do Rags. All right. I dropped a link to the Tracy Laurent um, in the description down there. I'm about to show y'all some of my favorite rags. That's on the website. Uh, then we're going to get into this oil and plastic bag. So. Um, they got these joints on there. Oh, yeah, Sue, the blue joint. Sue, I really do not like the lay down G. I'm sorry. What's good, everybody? What's good, George? I so, this is one of my favorites, the American joint. Oh, his is triple double. Yeah, I still got some triple double. I just didn't like the Shea. So when he came out with a Shea Free formula, that was when I jumped right on. I know a lot of people don't like the designer rags. That's not really about a designer, but don't kill me. I didn't make it. I still think it's fire because it's got um, Supreme on it. These joints on there. The Wild Leopard, so many waves on there. He got a lot of different, so many wave colorways, though. So, nah, dreams, nah, bro, dreams not better than Rico rags. You're not gonna get me to tell you that lie. Hell no. Nah. This joint, this my favorite. So many wave bust heads with this boy. Get it print. This is probably what I'm going to rock today after this plastic bag session. And then, um, this is so many waves, too. I like this wine color, rose color. All right, so anyway, for the Dream Do Rags, use uh, Dream Team. And if you buy anything else, you feel me? Just use the links. Link down below. Shop with your kid. I'm an ambassador over at the Tracy Loren too. Feel me? All right, so today we're using, actually last night, um, if you follow me on the gram, I posted the unright video from that long-ass wash day yesterday morning. Boy, that shit was cracking. Um, that shit was cracking. So... I plastic bag some of this oil in. Palmer's Natural Fusion Ceramide Hair Food Oil. <laughs> it's got a lot of oils in it. Um, a lot. So I'm going to go over the oils with you right quick. Um, show you what it's looking like. I need to adjust my lights. I'll adjust them in a minute. Um... Joint got canola oil. Let me see what else. Canola oil, ceramides, argan oil, avocado oil, shea oil, coconut oil, <laughs> uh, grapeseed oil, and a bunch of other most stuff that I can't pronounce. Um, it's pretty good. What's good, Garland? Yeah, so I heard uh, Sovereign. 
Um, the best rag, nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. The best rags out right now. I mean, he got some. Tracy Loren got some new rags. I suppose the Ben had them. Um, but UPS fucked my shit up, so he got some new rags that's they don't bang right now. Um, to be honest with you, right now though, the best rags out is the um Rico rags, Rico remix rags. Um and the Waivers Club do rags. The Waivers Club do rags, man. And I'm not just saying that because I mess with Waivers Club. The Waivers Club do rags, bro. But Remix, if you have to choose from a name that you know, popular name that you know, then Remix rags all day long, bro. And he stay with a sale. Like, he stay with a sale. So, you can't really beat that. Sometimes his rags be um, $5.00. Uh, George, yeah, I usually do them on Wednesdays, but yesterday I just didn't feel like doing it, so I did a um, condition instead. Um, I gotta put y'all hip tomorrow. I'm gonna debut y'all my Amazon shop. I have a Amazon shop where you can go on and shop in my store. And basically what I do every Friday is I add on new sales uh, on stuff that we like. Do-rags, products, everything. I got everything on there. Brushes. What I do is find stuff for the low and then I put it on my Amazon shop. So tomorrow, uh, look out for that. Yeah, I heard about Main Rags too. I've never had one from Main Rags. What up, Brandon? I'm not even going to do you like that about the Wave Builder rag, bro. not even going to do you. I'll show y'all this right quick. Hold on. Yeah, I've never had one. I don't really know why, but I never had a main do-rag. And I really need to do that because I don't know why I haven't. I really don't know why I have not. I'm about to hit another light. Hold on. All right. You dumb as the wavy, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so um, I'm glad y'all mentioned it. I'm going to try them rags out. I really am. So usually, y'all know I haven't plastic bagged in a while. It's just that that washing style yesterday was so savage. Like, it turned out so good. Like, it turned out real good. Like, I really didn't expect it to turn out that good. So. Lazy days like this. I just. Plastic bag. Plastic bag. This oil through. I know a lot of people going to say. It's not really going to work the oil in. Yes, it will. You just got to do plastic bag for um, at least 10 minutes. I got to lay down. G worth every penny, bro, on the lay. Hey, see, Brandon, it didn't work out like that for me, bro. I couldn't stand it. I got a lot of flock for it. Flock. Flack. I got a lot of flack for it because I gave an honest opinion. Um... I believe, you know what I'm saying, it's a hit and miss, but I'm just not about to do it. You know, I'm uh, like I said in, the, in that video, I appreciated everybody that, not everybody, but I appreciated them sending it to me. I told them that I thought it was going to be dope. When he asked me, could he send me one? I said, yeah. 
But once I start using it, it was just like, I can't, man. Everybody different. Yeah, I'm not even going to get going on that, bro. <laughs> I'm not even going to get going on that. <laughs> yeah Brandon I mean I ain't gonna lie back in the day if you had told me the plastic bag back in 2010 2011 I would have been looking at you like you dumb so I mean it is what it is everything evolves eventually but that's just not something for me dog you know hell that's another brush as much as that boy cost that's a whole nother brush I could be using a whole nother product. I could be, I could be trying. Fuck that. Plus, we on oil and plastic back today, y'all, because I'm going to wash again tomorrow. Maybe tonight, because I got to uh, cut my hair tomorrow. I'm doing a three with the grain, more like a trim. Uh, and then I'm going into the shop to get a razor line and taper. So when you go on doing that, your hair got to be clean. So what's the best oils you would say for shine? Um, I'm going to give you shine only oil first. Then I'm going to give you an oil that's, um, that seals in the moisture. So the best oil for shine all day is going to be argan oil. Argan oil is, is a strictly a shine oil, okay? Moisture, I would say olive. Olive gives good shine and moisture. See, the thing is, oils don't necessarily moisturize, but if you put the oils in your hair at the right time, it keeps your hair moisture locked in. What's good? I'm guilty. I'm guilty. What's good? Um, products I'm on right now. Oh, so I retired my triple double butter. I retired my triple double butter. I use it rarely now, like how I rarely use um that sweet Jamila. But the products I'm on right now, I'm pretty much on a on a rotation of a few things. I pretty much got five, six butters I could reach for at any time. Um, I'm, bang, I'm messing with his new blue butter. I'm messing with that. Messing with that new um, blue butter he got out. I haven't done a review yet because my package is actually late. I was supposed to do my review. I wanted uh, a container with a label on it. I didn't want to look all ghetto. <laughs> was good, Ace. Does Sweet Jamila have the same feel to the Triple Double? No, Sweet Jamila is kind of like sticky and smooth at the same time. Um, Sweet Jamila is a different beast. I just, those are some things that I just rarely use. Um, like I said, because of the shea. I liked it. But Shea products, they stopped, stopped my shine after a while. So, he know I've been waiting on a no Shea product for a while. So, that's when he came out with that new formula. That junk. I like it. That Wave Saver, um, Wave Butter is so fire. It's so fire. That, and I've been on this, not this, not this, but Palmer's, the um, Olive Oil Grow Therapy. I've been on that a lot. Like I said, I just... I just got about five, six different things that I could reach for at any point in time and, and not go wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I'm using a lot of oil today, like I said, because I'm about to wash again. Again. So I can hit the shop tomorrow and get the taper and line up. I'll do a live trim with y'all since... 
Um, I never have. Yeah, Kenyatta. Yeah, it really is. That creamy wet, that creamy butter he got. It's pretty dope. I got his pomade too. Um, I gave it a run the other day with his wash bars. I did a wash. I used his um his uh moisturizer after and then I brushed in the pomade and it was dope. I've never used regular shea butter. Never. Never. Never, never. Not straight up shea. Never. I hate it. Yeah, bruh. I'm experimenting, Mr. Wavy. I gotta I gotta figure out how I wanna place this shit the best way. So I haven't figured that out yet. Know what I'm saying? I ain't figured that out yet. But man, I hate shea butter. I hate it. Especially with, with it by itself. Hey, man, you talking about that shea butter that be in the gas stations in that little dollar container? Nah, bro. We don't do that over here. We don't do that over here, bro. Ace, look, some people live and die by it, and they say that it works for them. Yeah, that yellow bullshit, the water it down bullshit. A lot of people say it worked for them. I could care less about what they say. Um, I can't rock with it. It make my hair dull and it smell like nuts. I'm fuck with that. <laughs> I'm on uh, oil diet for now. I use coconut for moisture and still grapeseed. Hey, no, so that's a good combo. My my top five oils is um coconut argan. Let me see. Coconut argan. Castor. <laughs> Avocado. And I'm missing one. White shea butter. I don't even care. Just Shay, period. I don't like it. I don't even like, I don't like nobody named Shay. That's how, I don't, how much I don't like it. Brandon, two times a week. Two times a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. But, um, I've been messing with Wavy Crockett, man. And you know, he wash a lot. So I added in some extra days this week on the wash. Messing with Wavy Crockett. And plus, I'm working on some weaknesses. So, mm, you know, us elites, we wash a lot and work on things a lot. <clears throat> yeah. TracyLoren.com. The link is in the description. They got a bottle of avocado oil if y'all want to try it. Avocado oil. It's in an $8 bottle. Pure avocado. That jump fire. And I like avocado butter. Yeah, he the king of wash. I'm with it. I'm with it. What's good, Ellis? So, I put myself on punishment. I don't have any new brushes. Um, I do have a few that I haven't told y'all about that I had about a month or two ago. Um, but I put myself on punishment. I haven't bought any new brushes. Um, my boy JP bought me some brushes, but I haven't picked them up yet. So, um, I put myself on punishment, dog. I don't deserve no new brushes right now. You should see my closet. I feel like a hoarder. I'm like a brush hoarder, dog. My girl be like, man, you got all your shit everywhere, all over the place. Like, I don't give her no room on her shelves, dog. <laughs> I got brushes everywhere, bro. I need to get some of that shit away. All right, all right, Drew, let's let's go. A wave hoarder. <laughs> yeah, man, I do be feeling bad for it though, but we got a problem. You know what I'm saying? Something wrong with us to where we gotta have. I don't understand.
It gotta be, Ellis. I gotta get rid of these forks so I can't get skunk, Ellis. Come here. Come here, Ellis. Working on these forks. And it's flow. So I won't get skunk. Yeah, man, good looking everybody. 26 viewers, 13 likes. I'm about to divorce y'all straight up. Y'all stingy. But I be loving y'all anyway. I'm just distributing an oil ace. Um, the hair gonna lay. It's already laid. It was already laid um, stale from yesterday. So I'm just distributing the oil um, and getting the lay too. I don't really want to disturb it. Um with really no brush work right now. Yeah, I'm being I'm being lazy but effective at the same time, so. All right, so pretty much <clears throat> you get magical things happen to you when you're wolfing and you use some oils and a soft brush or some oils and a plastic bag for a while, you know, at least 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Back when me and um, Poppy Blasted was on the same team, we was on Supreme together, he taught me that junk. I used to just like plastic bag for like a couple swipes. And then once I once he told me, he's like, at least do 10 minutes at a time. Once I learned that, it, it just do something to your lay. Do something to your lay. All right, y'all. So for some reason, this oil tell, tell you, um, to only use it so many times a week. So on the back it say week one, apply once. So I already violated that. I hope my hair don't fall out. Second, it's saying the second week, use it twice a week. Third week, use it three times a week. So I got some more little packets. I'm gonna be um, using this on and off cause I'm about to wolf for a little bit, not for a long time, but I'm at three weeks right now, so I'm probably going to wolf for six weeks. So, um, I'm going to use all growth stuff, fluffy puffs, um, growth therapy palmers. I'm about to use all of that. All of it. And wolf crazy, crazy. You heard? <laughs> for sure, Ace. So, how do you feel about the double butter cream? You talking about... um? By, uh, what the fuck is that brand? Dog, what brand is that? Tell me what brand that is. Nah, Wild Growth. I don't, I don't mess with Wild Growth. Wild Growth. Some people live by it. Wild Growth, man. Fake news for me, bro. Oh, yeah, As I Am. Um, I haven't used As I Am in a long time. In a long ass time. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm fucking around. <laughs> Damn, I feel bad for that. <sighs> What's the deal, DJ? I haven't used that junk in years, bro. But uh, it costs too much. I'd rather get some um, moisturizer from Brush 360. Ugh, that look ugly as hell. What the 
I'd rather use some by, by brush, some moisturizer by Brush 360 or Wave the Diva. Way is half the price and I get more. Shit. Shit cost too much. People airing it out too, saying it's a whole bunch of crazy ingredients in it. I really don't care, man. You know what I'm saying? I really don't care about all of that. But I'm getting all my experimenting out the way. I'm getting all my reviews out the way before that Shea Moisture Pack touchdown because I'm going to be focused on trying to use those products and see what they're about once they send them in. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I should have did the cold wet do rag. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this do rag acting pissy as hell. Stupid ass do rag. about to use my favorite red white and blue i don't know why it's acting like that i think i fucked it up when i washed it <laughs> i'm just saying it irritated me dog i ain't had that problem before i washed my rags the other day and that's the second one that, that act like it don't fit my head no more ace cold wet durag seals in your oils and your moisture and it lays your hair um, lays your hair real good. Lays your hair real good. But it's the it's the seal in that I like. It, it keeps your waves dark because it seals in that oil real good. There we go. Give me something I can feel. I do it mostly when I'm wolfing, when I'm struggling with lay. But you can do it whenever. Don't do it every day. Because wearing a wet durag, sometimes you get a line down the middle from that always being wet. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help with your compression, too. I say toy with it a couple times a week. It's really an as, as needed type of situation. So, use it whenever you need that extra lay or... You can use oils or real thin butter. That's when it works best to me. Or pomade. If you can use the pomade, that's the best times. So... Um, I'm about to hit the streets. Say no, I'm like boys and like I got something to do. I ain't about to dip though. Later on, I whipped out my old phone. I don't know why the update didn't work. Anyway, I whipped out my old phone. We're gonna go on Instagram together. Oh, no. What the fuck is this? At Seven Edge. We're going to go on Instagram together. We're going to go on Facebook together. We're about to do some different shit later on. I'm going to answer some Instagram questions while we on live over here. Because my inbox is behind over there. My inbox over there is lacking. I need to catch up to everybody over there. Straight up. So we're going to do that together. I'm going to take questions, answer questions over there, and then be over here at the same time. No, nah, bro, because this one, this one, uh, I don't think the camera can fuck with, can fuck with this no eight. I really don't. I really don't. But all right, y'all, I'm out. Um, thanks for watching. Hope y'all learned something. If not, I'll let y'all next time. Is your girl RG3 and I'm